everyone. I want to show you the greenhouse that I converted into a home today. Um, I'm in the middle of moving and unfortunately I'm, unfortunately I'm gonna leave this home that I've lived in for over 20 years. And I just wanted to show you a little bit of it before I make my exit out of here. So let's move forward. I'm just gonna do a brief overview of the structure, how I converted it. And uh, just to give people an idea of how you can possibly create a home out of a, a greenhouse originally meant for plants. We are on the Big Island of Hawaii and I used to professionally build greenhouse structures primarily for nurseries and these greenhouses were at a fairly large orchid nursery and we had a hurricane a few years ago. Most of the complex got destroyed so they brought me in to dismantle it and I worked out a deal with the nursery to salvage the components that were still reusable. 90% uh, of it was basically thrown away however I did have enough components to build these two structures. Each greenhouse, there's two of them here, they're 28 feet wide by 36 feet deep. So the original vision to building this was uh, having a mosaic art retreat where people would come visit me and I would do an intensive course to teach them the basics of mosaic art. So what this has is it has three bedrooms. Two of them are singles, one is a double. And a fully functioning kitchen and across the driveway is a bathhouse. So I'm just gonna show you a couple features that are a little bit unique about greenhouses. So one of the first things if you ever do want to live in a greenhouse is the roof. The roof, if you use a regular greenhouse roof, you're gonna get way too hot. So what this roof is, is it's black and white, it's called Duraskrim. It's got a nylon reinforcement similar to ripstop. And so you face the white towards the sun so it doesn't absorb heat and then the black faces down so you don't get any light transmission. What you're seeing in the video is white and that's because I have another layer underneath and it's basically I just had it left over from other projects so I used it as just another layer. Um, so it keeps you nice and cool, it keeps you shady and it's good for a living and it also has a six to 10 year lifespan which is great as well, give you a bit of peace of mind. Um, another feature of if you want to live in a greenhouse is is the slab. So this is a concrete slab. I set it three feet back from the exterior wall and the reason is, is I live in a rainforest and um, sometimes rain will come through the screen and so if you give yourself an overhang it won't hit the slab and migrate into your living area. On the back side there's also a three foot setback. So on three sides there's a three foot overhang. This also allows you to use conventional uh, vinyl windows and you don't got to worry about basically rain and weather running down the walls of your living structure. And behind the camera person here is a, the second greenhouse. The roof on this is clear 6 mil polyfilm, which is standard for uh, vegetable growing in a greenhouse. Um, so this side does get a fair amount of light transmission, which is great for growing things. However, it's separated enough that it doesn't come into your living area. So let's uh, do a quick walkthrough here. So I got two single bedrooms. And once again, this was for a retreat. So it was just for short term, uh, short term visitors. So there's no closets or anything like this. Each of these rooms is eight feet by eight feet. We can go inside and take a look. And they have the basics for, you know, short term stays of a week or so. And it also did function as an Airbnb for quite some time. And the nice thing is, is you do, in this application, I did use standard vinyl windows. So they did have, uh, they could close it for more circulation or less circulation. And then moving next door is the big, bigger room. It's twice as big and it is set up for a couple. And this room was the primary, the room primarily used, I guess, especially for the Airbnb portion. If you look up at the peak of the wall here, they all do have ceilings that go all the way up. There is a small gap, it's about four inches, and that allows the hot air to vent out. So you do get some nice vent 
Um, all the walls are double wall construction. They have insulation. I use the insulation primarily just for noise, um, not for climate control. And then it does have a fully functioning kitchen. Um, concrete countertops. One of the unique features as well was the granite backsplash. I was taking scraps of granite from cutoffs and things from granite fabrication for countertops and I just basically mosaic them together into a backsplash. But it does have a full-size uh, refrigerator, full-size sink, full-size stove, plenty of room for guests. We've had a lot of painting parties. We've had a lot of fun out here. Um, definitely gonna miss this place as it's been it was really always a dream of mine to build something like this and it was fun to finally execute it and basically prove the concept. So across the way, I'm going to show you the bathhouse. And the reason the bathhouse is across the driveway is because this driveway was pre-existing. It, it dissected the property and it just was a bit more, it just made sense with the previous layout of how this place was developed. It also did provide a bit of privacy, especially if we had different groups of people who didn't know each other so when they went to the restroom they have a bit of separation um, for showering and things like that so let's take a brief walk across and we'll conclude this quick little rundown Once again, I do live in a rainforest. It's extremely aggressive environment. Pretty much everything rust or rot if you don't take good care of it. So I built this stone steps with concrete. Um, they do get quite a bit of weather exposure, but since they're stone and concrete, they should be here for most likely longer than the building itself. So this is an eight, eight by 16 structure. I broke it into two pieces. So th this first room is an eight by eight. Um, you can go inside and kind of show. And it's just, uh, this is basically the toilet and sink. And then once again, just for efficiency, I separated the shower just so multiple people could do what they needed to do at the same time. And this is actually one of my more favorite parts of this entire property. So it's a large eight by eight. Um, it's got a carved concrete floor. It's uh, bamboo locally sourced off the property. And it just has a great outdoor indoor feel. Um, it's a couple lights here recycled out of bottles. And it's uh, just a little bathhouse across, across the way here. So it went with an anthurium theme on the floor. And um, So that's about it for the tour. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. Hopefully this might be inspirational to a few people. I've looked, uh, I've looked online a lot and I haven't seen too many people really do this style of a conversion. I've seen a lot of alternative living situations, but never, never really a greenhouse converted in this manner where your garden is incorporated and everything like that. So I hope you enjoyed it.